Some powerful political figures hit hard by scandals. Democrats strongly criticizing Alabama GOP Senate candidate Roy Moore for multiple accusations against him, while Republicans slamming Democratic Senator Al Franken over sexual misconduct allegations. But are lawmakers really seeking change? Or are they just worried about their party? Nan Hayworth is a former Republican New York Congresswoman and a member of the Independent Women's Forum Board of Directors. And Doug Schoen is a former President Bill Clinton advisor. He's also a Fox News contributor. All right. Uh, Dems are in an uproar, uh, uproar over the whole Roy uh, Moore scandal. Mm -hmm. um, and this Al Franken thing definitely couldn't have come at a worse mm -hmm. time because Democrats right. have been having a field day with all these Republicans that are in the spotlight. Do they have the same argument? Well, I think there's, and I'm going to defer to Doug on his expertise in Clinton world, but certainly with the new pieces about uh, reevaluating President Bill Clinton's behavior in the light of the way we're treating these accusations now, uh, the environment is poisonous all around, and there's great risk uh, politically for uh, everyone who gets involved in these uh, uh, in these storms, because you never know where the next uh, shoe is going to drop. It's you know, this tough. is unfortunately a case of he said, she said, yep. because a lot of these cases are 30 years old. But mm -hmm. in the case of Bill Clinton, you know, a lot of people have come forward. Republican GOP national leaders have come forward and said, we believe, Mitch McConnell included, that these accusations are real. They are credible. Um, which is interesting because Bill Clinton has been accused of sexual assault and even rape. And a lot of people questioned his accusers. So it almost seems like a double standard. Well, I, I, I see it very differently, Julie. First, Bill Clinton's case was fully litigated by a special prosecutor, individual prosecutions, an impeachment process. And it was 20 years ago. Roy Moore is running for election now. And I think Mitch McConnell is perfectly well entitled, as are the people of Alabama, to make a contemporaneous judgment. I just don't see what the benefit is of bringing up Bill Clinton as Kirsten Jet did. Well, Gillibrand I mean, he was a former did. president, and over a dozen what about women George have accused H. W. him. Bush? And Eight people women? have been talking about right. that as, you know as his, you know, uh, let's, his let's, grabbing let's, women's behinds right. seem to let's be. Let's put that behind us and deal with a what joke. is today and those in office rather than playing gotcha with former... But you're not comparing government. apples to oranges here. I mean, sexual assault and rape... Right. Uh, it's not... Yeah. Look, there have been inconsistencies in the stories, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. certainly that I have seen involving Juanita Broderick and others, that raise real doubts about what happened. I just don't think that to relitigate them now in the absence of some You're controversy right. it's unfortunate. makes sense. Right. It is unfortunate that all these and women's traumas uh, are being politicized, yeah. but that is politics. Alleged traumas right. in alleged some cases. Alleged traumas. Okay, and a lot of people, now you mentioned the word alleged, and yes. it's interesting because a lot of people on the left are aggravated that many people are calling the Al Franken right. touching of the breasts alleged because let's alleged. throw up the picture. <laughs> did this is and would you agree? This go. didn't allegedly yes, happen. Can this, we just put up the picture of him right. pretending I mean, there's to no grope her breasts? Right? Okay, Julie, so there's no consent there. Okay, so it's no not consent. an alleged incident. This actually happened. Right. It should go. It's simple. That, that picture is uh, yeah. priceless. Right, and, okay. And but a lot of Democrats are upset because a lot of Republicans are calling this an alleged, or Democrats, I'm sorry, are saying yeah. that this is an, that this is an alleged <laughs> no. you know, incident. It's not alleged. No. We no. have the photographic evidence. Bill Maher is a friend of Al Franken, okay? He's got an HBO show, and he talked about this photo of Al Franken uh, mock groping Leanne Tweeden. And this is what he said Al's a friend, but Al, I gotta tell you, if you write a comedy sketch where you, Al Franken, kiss a model, and the next line of dialogue isn't get off me, creepy, it's not comedy, it's science fiction. So he made a joke about right, it. That's right. what Bill Maher does, ha ha. But then Maher went on to say that Franken didn't deserve to be, quote, lumped in with other prominent figures facing sexual misconduct allegations, such as the GOP's Alabama Senate nominee Roy Moore, Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey, movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, and President Donald Trump. Well, look. We could spend all afternoon going from case to case yeah. to case. Mm -hmm. But for today, I can say I'm a Democrat. I believe in nonpartisanship. We have mm -hmm. in Nan Hayworth a 
congresswoman who was transcendent as a Republican, but Thank bipartisan. You. But I hope we can agree that Al, what Al Franken did, what he's acknowledged, as outrageous as it is, he should just leave, resign. I find it outrageous that anybody would defend him. And I understand I'm not Bill, defending him. No, not you, Bill Maher. I mean, Bill Maher is defending him because he's right, saying he right. shouldn't be lumped in with Harvey Weinstein and Roy Moore. No, we're not saying that you allegedly um, sexually assaulted a minor. That's not what this is not what this is about. Sexual assault and sexual harassment is that <laughs> sexual harassment and right. sexual assault and politicizing it is just well, absolutely that's, ridiculous. And Julie, that's just it. We have legal standards. Doug was just alluding no. to certain legal standards. Of course, the impeachment impeachment was over perjury uh, per se. I mean, Paula Jones strictly was a speaking. case about sex. Well, that is true. And then there's all the political implications. So we now live, we exist in a political environment in which these charges are going to continue flying back and forth. Mm -hmm. And Chris Steyerwalt wrote a great piece uh, for Fox News yeah. in which he said eventually, effectively, eventually uh, folks on both sides are going to just filter out the noise because they're going to say, you know what, a pox on everyone's house. Right. Uh, you know, we have to uh, return to the fact that we've got to get our issues in our agenda represented. I personally, as a Republican, would like to see uh, someone other than Judge Moore uh, in Alabama representing our agenda. Right, but that's you know. not going to happen before the election. So uh, it, it appears not. And as a reasonable and person, up. I hope Doug Jones wins because this man shouldn't be in the Senate. I'm not saying yeah. he did or didn't do anything. I'm just saying it's pretty clear to me from what I've seen and heard, we can do better than him. All right, Nan Hayworth and Doug Schoen. Thank you both. Julie, thank, thank you. you. Interesting. Julie. All right.